Hello and welcome back to the Midlands Outdoors channel back with another video today. Here we are on a nice walk on my doorstep all the way to Lutley Fields which is right away over there. We're at a nice place at a moment, a nice open field from where I live, we're right away at the back. And you can just sort of see the nice views overlooking parts of the black country just through the gaps of the trees over there. I could just see St Andrew's Church and I'm not too sure if you can see it but the back area is over that way. We've got Beecher Road leading north way up and the back area down there is where the Lutley gutter runs and comes all the way to the back of the Lutley field so if I do go down there I will show you that one. So let's go and head down there and let's go and see what we can discover. Lutley is a hamlet near Hells Erin in the Dudley district in the county of the West Midlands. Lutley Mill is nearby in Hells Erin and is also the name of a local pub now known as the Lutley Oak. Lutley Mill is situated on Puddings Brook. The Lutley Gutter runs through Lutley. In 1951, the parish had a population of 457. So this is it, the start of our walk, right away to the bottom on the Lutley Fields. You can just see all the hay bales right away to the back into the distance and the nice opening coming away from the built up area all the way into the countryside itself and where we're heading is all the way up there but I'm going to go down to the bottom and show you the lovely gutter but I must say though it's really beautiful having something like this on your doorstep not far to walk and you can just keep on walking all the way into the countryside and just keep on going so here we are this is the lovely gutter stretching all the way down you can just see it trickling from there and goes right away to the bottom and I believe it goes under the road and then it carries straight away forward. Old pottery there and even further down I've noticed stuff sticking out the sand right away there towards the bottom once more. But you can just imagine over many years different things end up into streams. Maybe if this flooded it brought things with it, I don't know. Very old shopping trolleys right away there. Also another very old pot just right onto that corner. But you could just probably spend hours and hours trying to spot things. But there we go, one more view of the Lutley gutter stretching all the way up. Feel free to drop it in the comments if you know more information behind the Lutley gutter. Where does the Lutley gutter even start? Or where does it even run to? That's an interesting one. So right, I've got about all the way up this steep bank. I don't know how I got down it. But I skidded right away to the bottom and all my back's dirty. <laughs> right, let's get back up it. I've always come down to the fields but never thought of coming down to check that out but there is a nice woodland walk that stretches all the way around and comes from the front entrance of where we come from right away down the bottom but if we head further on you can just sort of see the beautiful views as we head further up this way I'm going to go back that way and loop all the way around Lutley was historically a township in the ancient parish of Hells Erin most of the parish formed the manor of Hells Erin, which was transferred from Worcestershire to become a detached part of Shropshire on being acquired to the Earl of Shrewsbury in the 13th century. However, Lutley was not part of the manor, belonging instead to the priests of Wolverhampton. Being the only one of their possessions outside Staffordshire, the ownership resulted in the manor of Lutley being with Codsall and other various places part of the manor of the deanery of Wolverhampton. It was therefore one of the few parts of the parish of Hells Erin to remain in Worcestershire, along with Crady and Worley. So this is it, my favourite part of the walk is the views going right away into the distance overlooking parts of the black country. I can just see Turner's Hill, the far back of where Hayden Hill is, and also the far back areas of Coombs Wood and some areas that I'm sticking out. You could spend hours coming up into here in the summer and just enjoying the views. But I mean, right away over there, I can just see Hunting Tree Park and the far back areas from where we come from. Wow, what a walk so far. It's nice to come over here and just enjoy the scenery. I'm going to take a nice little sit down for five minutes. But as we sit down, look at the views going right away to the back. And like I mentioned, if I zoom in, you can see parts of the black country sticking right away out. With Turner's Hill right away to the back. Can see Rowley Regis right away there. 
there's somewhere in that gap there I did see the church sticking right away to the corner got Coombs wood at the backs over that way and surprisingly enough just right away to where I'm pointing from is where we started right away there onto the further backfield and then you've got hunting tree right away there it's so like I say you could spend hours just enjoying the views I mean on a day like today when you've got nothing to do this is something on the doorstep just to come down and enjoy I'm going to walk all the way into Lutley itself and then down through a woodland which is another favourite part of a walk all the way up to where the bike jumps are and leads to a further back road but you can just see even further behind me we've got Clent Hills right away to the back over there you will see it a bit more better just into the distance You've got some farm buildings right away to the back with a big house. A police helicopter coming right away over. Look at that. Well, I mean, I can't believe how cold it's been for the last few days. It's been touching one degree. Minus one nearly on a night. It's even gone further behind that with frosts. So I think the next few days I've got to get really colder. So I'm ditching the bikes and going back to the walking scenes. But this is one of them that I like to do every year, even in the summertime when I've got nothing to do when I finish work. This is my basic walking route going all the way down. I loop all the way back round, back to the Starbridge Road, following the paths going all the way to the back of the farm, through the woodland, up to Hunting Tree Park, and down by the pub, down the Alexandra Road. But just before we go, look at the views. Wow. Absolutely spectacular. And there's a starting point, a little bit of a better view from where we was earlier. So right just in front is another spot which is again my favourite because you can just see even more surrounding land, the far back countryside. You can even see Clent Hills and some spectacular views of it just right away here. So here we go, just right away there zooming in is Clent Hills. A nice view overlooking right away to the back can just see Hagley Woods stretching all the way across into the far back corner and then over there we've got Water Hill and further at the back I think that is actually Romsley sticking on that side there into the corner can just see a mast sticking up so I think that is definitely Romsley I think Frank the Beaches sits right away over there I can just see it sort of where I'm pointing to right away at the back of the houses it is quite hard to make out but it's right away there so this bit once more is a nice spot to stop on your journey is going all the way down the Lutley Fields. You've got the two view sections right away there and then the black country just a view. Even spend another hour just enjoying the scenery. It's just stunning. In 1866 Lutley became a separate civil parish from 1894 to 1925. It was part of the Hale Zoe Rural District. In 1925, it was incorporated to the municipal borough of Hells Owen. It remained a civil parish until 1974, but as an urban parish, it had no parish council of its own after 1925, being directly administered by Hells Owen Town Council. The parish was abolished in 1974, along with the borough of Hells Owen, becoming part of the wider metropolitan borough of Dudley. So going back many years, the land what you see right away in front was very industrialised. I believe the wooded area to the back, which stretches further on to come to the back lane, actually used to be called Beech Tree Colliery, and that was right away there into that back area of woodland. You even had Old Nook Colliery, and that was actually situated right away over there to Old Nook Road. So you can see much land has really changed over here, industrialised past, you can imagine back in the old industrial days, Hells Owen being much more smaller and the further back areas. Just imagine the views into the black country with all the smoke going, the chimneys, how it would have really looked back then. This has to be one of my favourite walks going all the way down into Lutley itself with the countryside and the views stretching all the way around. There's much to explore over here and several paths that lead further on. But as we come to the end of Lutley, you can see there's more things to explore. 
the land stretching all the way around. You can just see some very old farm buildings right away there and some extension farm buildings right away to the back. All this land surrounding all the way around this area is called Lutley. But I don't know how old that building is right away there. If I come to the road, I will quickly show it you. But the further back here, there isn't much around it. It's just all fields leading all the way around. We've got a lane stretching further up. And if you walk that lane, you can end up to Pedmore Fields, right away to the top by Wassel Grove Fisheries. But it is really surprised me though, the views going all the way across. It's just endless. This is why I love this walk, because the scenery is just spectacular. As you're walking further down, the views stay the same and you see much more and different things along the journey. Like now, I can just see Frankly Beach is a bit more better right away there. So this is the farm building right away here. I did see some photos on the internet, but you can just tell by the architecture of it how old it really is. I must say it probably dates to the 1800s and it is actually for sale. But there we go, there's the for sale sign right away there. But I just love the architecture of the windows. And then right away to the top, the chimneys are absolutely so old. If I come back this way, we can just sort of see the chimney sticking up with some nice architecture of the little chimney parts right away to the top. Look at that. It's definitely got a date to the 1800s, but I might be wrong. It might date even further behind that. If you do know more information about the Grange part, then drop it into the comments. I would be interested to know, or even the subscribers might want to know what date that really dates to. So the next part of the walk takes us all the way down the narrow lane, then joins up to a wooded area leading all the way to the Squirrels Estate. So right even further down the narrow lane, there is another footpath leading right away to the bottom. And that's actually what we're taking. And you can take another path to lead all the way back to where we come from. I'll quickly show you that one. But you can just definitely tell how muddy it really is. You see I've got really muddy coming all the way down. That's why you need the correct footwear for coming to places like this. Especially after we've had so much rain. But this path, sometimes in the year, you can barely walk across this without getting really, really proper muddy. So right, that's the other path what I was on about. So if you can walk that one all the way to the bottom, it will lead you to where we come from. Right away to the back where the views are, you can take another path to go all the way down the back area down there to a little brook. But you can just really see how muddy it really is going all the way down. That's barely walkable for me with my shoes. You definitely need wellies on for that. Absolutely chocker. <laughs> but look, I have to say, this is actually a nice little walk just to end the journey from Lutley Fields, heading into a wooded area, as you can see right away down to the bottom. It leads all the way down there, past the stream, then goes all the way up to where bike jumps are. But you can just see it's full of wildlife over here. We've got the birds in the trees. I can just see robins and some blue tits just right away to the back. Here, yeah, that's gone quiet now, but I heard all the birds singing just. But if you've never been down to here, just at the back of the squirrels estate, it's definitely worth to come down to it. It's nice to extend your walk and journey even further.
wow what a special place you can just see what i mean things like this on your doorstep many people don't realize this is even here but i can just see the wildlife once more right away to the back but we can just see from this section the brook coming all the way down snakes round onto that corner and goes even further that way but look at this right away down to the floor <laughs> so i'm not too sure what that stuff is i think it just accumulates but it looks like bubble bath right away there i've seen tons of that even on the Lutley gutter just where it goes under the road and to the far back corner there's even tons of it going all the way up the brook snakes all the way around it doesn't go that way but it snakes around that way and goes way out the area to where we've got to go through so this is pretty much the last part of the walk and the bike jumps are right away over there i can just see them all covered up they are well maintained i don't know whether local people i'm actually maintaining those but we can just see the area here is just a perfect place for people to come down with their bmx's we've got little dirt ramps leading from there more bike jumps right around the corner tell you what i've not seen a place so muddy all the path leading all the way down is really thick of mud don't know how i walked across that because that some of it is actually so deep it's come to the top of my shoes nearly so i'm very lucky there I've got to have a good clean up when i get home but the final part before we head to the squirrels estate this is the last part of the woodland stretching all the way down and that is actually how you access the bog jumps just onto a little path on the left that goes right into them i don't know how far these jumps actually date back but we can see there there's actually a sign there saying they belt and wood or something else onto it but yeah pretty cool to see that should bring my side rusher down here and do a big massive jump for a video <laughs> wow this is absolutely so muddy just be careful i don't put my hands on there but look at that <laughs> definitely the muddiest part of the lovely fields You definitely need to bring the right footwear to do this. My shoes don't even cut this walk. <laughs> Got absolutely dirty. But it never used to be like this. I think it's all the rain we've had. It's just ended all the ground, going very, very bad. So right, that is basically the walk. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been nice going all the way over the Lutley Fields. I'm onto the Squirrels Estate now itself. That leads right away to the back. I'm going to take a shortcut and go straight away over another stream, then up a main road, then by Hunting Tree Park and all the way back home. So it's a nice little journey, but thank you very much for watching the video if you've got this far, and I'll see you again soon for the Midlands Outdoors.